In this example, we're given a curve for I of t, and I of t uh, represents the number of people infected with a virus um, over time, right? Time, this uh, t is time. And so the first question just asks us to describe how the total number of people infected changes over time. All right, well, first of all, we can see that i of t is increasing, right? So, um, so I'm going to start with that. Uh, we'll say that the, the total number, number of people infected, right? Because that's what I of t represents. And we can see that it increases over time. So increases over time. Okay, I think that's the main takeaway there. It's always increasing. Now, but you can see that it's not increasing at a steady rate. It's um, it looks like here it's increasing fairly slowly, but if I get to this point, it looks like it's increasing a lot faster, but then it slows down, right? So it increases um, slowly, it, the increases, <laughs> the increases increase, and then, uh, but then they end up eventually slowing down. Okay, so what's the sign of the derivative of I of t? How can we tell? We can tell based on um, the tangent lines. We can look at the tangent lines and we can see that because they all have a positive slope, then, um, then the sign of the derivative has to be positive. All right. Now it says to describe how the rate, uh, rate at which the population um, is infected over time. So we're describing the rate. Okay, all right, so what do we want to say here? So like I said, um, you can see that the slopes, the slopes increase, right? The slopes increase up to a certain point, and then the slopes start decreasing. So if I draw tangent lines, you know, it's a, I have a, you know, fairly shallow slope, and they, they get, the slopes uh, get steeper and steeper up until about this point A, and then, um, and then it starts to slow down, right? That those increases start slowing down. So, all right, let's put that into words. Um, let's and let's let's actually break our interval at that point a. So for t less than a, right? For t less than a, um, the rate of infection. Right, the rate in which the number of people are being infected. Right? So that's just the rate. The rate is is um, the slopes, right? Uh, the rate of infection increases. Increases over over time. All right, over time. Okay, can squeeze that in there <laughs> over time. All right, and then once we hit that point uh, at t equals a, for t greater than a, the rate of infection, rate of infection, right? Now the slopes are starting to decre decrease, right? Those slopes are the rate, of, rate at which the number of people is uh, being infected is changing. So um, the rate of infection decreases, decreases over time. All right, I ran out of room there. Okay, so then let's take a look at the next question. What is the sign of the second derivative of I of t? All right, now, um, it changes, right? Um, at a, right? So I would say that I double prime is greater than zero right? Because the increases are increasing. Um, so the second derivative is uh, greater than zero for t less than a, right? And, you know, which that means it's concave up, right? That's what's giving it that concave up shape. And the second derivative is less than zero for t greater than a, right? 
Um, and you can tell that it, because it's concave, it's concave down, right? You can see it's it's increasing still, but it's it's concave down now, right? It looks like the left hand side of an upside down U. Okay. So, all right, what is the significance of A and L? Now, L, okay, it's safe. I, uh, it's up here, <laughs> right? L is this, it's a limit, right? It looks like there's an asymptote there, a horizontal asymptote at L. So, um, what does A mean? Let's see. So, A is that point in time where it changes concavity, right? And so, A is, um, I'll just try to say, A is the point um, when, um, so it's the point when the rate of infection stops increasing and stops decreasing, right? So if you have something that starts, stops increasing and starts decreasing, then essentially it's the maximum. And so, um, so you could either say it's the point where the, uh, the rate of infection stops increasing and starts decreasing, or we could just say that it's the rate, it's the, fun ugh, it's the point when the infection rate, when the infection rate, right, because the slopes are the infection rate, it's where it's the highest, when it is, is, I'll put it down here, is highest. Highest, okay. So that point A is when people are being infected at the highest rate, okay? So like the people per day or whatever, whatever T, does it say what T is in? T is in days or <laughs> I don't know if it really says, um, but it's the point at which the infection rate is the highest. Now, what is L? L, L is that limit. L is that point that's like the asymptote, all right? And so L is the maximum value, right? Is it um, the the number of people infected doesn't get any higher than that? It's like the, it's an asymptote, so it's the maximum maximum uh, number number of people infected. That's what that L is. It's the it's a horizontal asymptote. So you're um, over time, the number of people infected reaches that maximum, and you don't go any higher than that. Okay, which makes sense. I mean, there's only so many people in a population, so um, you can't go any higher at some point. Can't go any higher um, if if everybody's been infected. All right, all right. So let's see. I think we've got. Um, we got one more, one more example. I'll meet you in the video.